Let's talk about why I'm still a virgin at the age of 21. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Lucia and let's get right into it. The first time that I talked about my virginity was during my freshman year of college. I met this girl in the lobby and after telling her, hey, I'm a virgin, she looked at me and she was like, oh my gosh, you're a unicorn. Okay. And then I was like, what the heck does that mean? And she was like, oh, I just mean you're exotic, you're a mermaid. It's really weird to find other virgins in college. And then after that conversation, I started paying more attention to how sex was being portrayed on campus. And I realized that sex is portrayed to such a large degree that it's almost as if it's supposed to be part of your college experience. And that pisses me off. So I'm making this video to all other 20 year olds who are still virgins and they're having doubts or they think there's something wrong with them. If you're 30, if you're 40 and you're still a virgin or even if you're not a virgin and you're just really curious about my advice and my experiences, this video is for you as well. My first advice to you is please make sure that when you do decide to have sex, it's the right time for you. There will be people who will make you feel like there is some sort of age restriction. There will be people who will make you feel stupid for being in your 20s and being a virgin. And those people are the lowest of the low and you should cut them off immediately. If you haven't done it, pause this video and go do it right now. On a serious note, sex is something that's supposed to be enjoyable. It's not something that anyone is supposed to manipulate you into doing. It's not something that should be rushed unless you don't really care about the construct of virginity and sex then you do you this is not a video bashing anyone i've also had friends come to me after they've lost their virginity and they're like lucy wait until you're ready wait until you meet the right person don't rush something as valuable and as intimate as sex please wait until you're ready because on the low low they were like it's not everything that is chucked up to be it's not all that and a, a slice of cake but you know i've also heard some good stories so i'm not saying like sex Sex isn't enjoyable. I, I mean, how would I know? I'm a virgin. <laughs> And my perspective on sex has changed a lot since I've been in college. When I first came to college, I did not really care about sex. It was the furthest thing from my mind. I was more so not having sex because I was going to wait for marriage. Now that I'm a senior in college and I'm about to graduate, my perspective on sex as a whole has changed a lot. And now I'm more so waiting for the right person, whether it's my husband or my boyfriend of five years, boyfriend of two years, boyfriend, whatever it may be, just when I meet the right person and I feel like it's the right time, I'm okay with embarking in that journey with my partner. And that's ultimately my decision. And it's going to be different for you because it's different from me and it's different from the next person next to me. So do things on your own terms. My second advice is don't feel like just because you're in a relationship, you have to have sex. Boom, oh, and there it is. There we go. And if your partner is making you feel like that, whether it's a boy or a girl, break up with them. Cut them off because no one should be manipulating you into having sex. No one should be taking that amazing decision from you in the name of, oh, but we're in a relationship. I don't care. I D G A F. I don't give a fuck. No one should be saying, we've been together for eight months. We haven't had sex yet. I don't care if it's 10 years. Do not, do not have sex with someone just because you're in a relationship with them and they're making you feel like, babe, it's been, babe, it's been three months. Let's, whoo, whoo. no, don't do that. That's wrong. And if anyone is trying to manipulate you into doing that in the name of we're in a relationship, they are not the person for you. Period. They're not. And that's never okay, boy or girl, that's never okay. I've had people in relationships as well who've come and told me, Lucy, honestly, I only had sex with him because we were in a relationship and I felt I had to do it. I'm like, girl, you do not have to do anything that you're not comfortable with. And if someone is making you feel that way, you know, you know the motto. Cut them off. My next advice is just because you consent to having oral sex does not mean that you also have to go all the way with someone. So if you're in the process of, you know, that doesn't mean that you should have like full on sex with them. I'm so sorry, mom and dad. But that doesn't mean that you also consented to that. And if someone is making you feel that way when you're doing that, please try to get out of that situation because that is the most disgusting thing ever. Just because you consented to this does not mean you consented to this. You see my point? 
Yes! College is a very shitty place, so there will be people who will try to make you feel like, oh, but you consented to having this type of sex with me, so why can't you just have this type of sex with me? Because I don't want to! I don't want to, and I don't have to. I don't know why I'm talking like this. If you consented to one thing, you did not consent to the whole thing. That's fine, that's how consent works. And some people don't understand that, but truly, that's how consent works. You can revoke it at any given time. Period. My next advice is don't let people make you feel stupid for why you're choosing not to have sex. Whether it's for religious purposes, whether it's for other purposes, don't let people make you feel like your reasoning is stupid. And if people are making you feel that way, they're not your friends. They're not looking out for you. They don't understand you. They don't see the type of person that you are. So they're not meant to be in your life. <laughs> Whatever reason that you have for not having sex or whatever reason you do have for having sex, that is your business. That is your choice. No one should be making you feel like your reasoning is stupid or your reasoning is, isn't big enough for why you still haven't had sex. Okay? Like, that's so immature. That's so dumb. Like, cut them off. Who do you think they are? We were the fool. That's who they... Anyways, I'm getting carried away. The one thing that I want you guys to take out of this video is the importance of waiting for the right time and waiting to embark in that journey with someone that you trust well enough to do that with because sex is a very intimate thing and I've heard about soul ties. I don't know how true that is, but it seems pretty serious, pretty true. So whatever reason that it is for you that you're still waiting or whatever reason that it is for you that you chose to do that, you're okay. There's nothing wrong with you. It's okay to be sexually active that is your decision that does not concern me that does not affect me that's your decision that's your life so don't let people make you feel like you're stupid or you're disgusting or you're there's something wrong with you because of the choice that you made and for anyone that's watching this video if I helped you I am so happy to hear that if I helped you maybe reconsider a bad decision or if I helped you to emphasize some of the points that were already in you, I'm so happy to hear that. If there's anyone else who has watched this video and you have other advice for everyone, please don't be shy. Comment down below. Talk to these folks. Give some advice. It's always welcomed. And if you want to reach out to me and just have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and just continue this topic, my social media is down below, so you can always find that in the description box. But thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next upload. Bye!